Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. This question is asking consider a 1.2 meter high and 2 meter wide glass window whose thickness is 6 millimeter and the thermal conductivity is K given by 0.78 watts per meter Kelvin. Determine the study rate of heat transfer. So they are asking for the study rate of heat transfer through this glass and the temperature of its inner surface right so let's see how we can find it so here to find this one what we have to do is we have to create this equation q dot is equal to t infinity one that's going to be inside temperature so here we have to and one more thing so they are saying this room temperature is 24 degrees celsius and outdoor is negative 5 degrees celsius and the temperature always goes from hot to cold so this is going to go from inside to outside so that's one more thing and let's see so t infinity 1 minus t infinity 2 over r total so this is the equation we are going to use to calculate the rate of heat transfer so here we have t infinity 1 that's inside temperature we already have that one right and t infinity 2 also we have outside temperature but we have to calculate this this r total in order to calculate q dot now let's go ahead and calculate r dot i mean r total so here we have we have a glass window and we have inside and outside so our resistance is going to be inside convection and r glass conduction and then outside convection so this is going to be our resistance so let's put r inside r glass and r outside and this is gonna starting from t infinity 1 to t infinity 2 so the heat will go through this way right now let's go ahead and find ri so inside convection to find the convection we use this equation that's 1 over h 1 a right so here we are going to have inside coefficient uh, so heat transfer coefficient inside is going to be 10 and outside is given by 25 so they are saying inner and outer surface of the window to be this one this one respectively so here we are going to have inside that is 10 so we are, we are going to have 10 right here and the area so here they have given 1.2 meter high 2 meter wide so the area is going to be 1.2 meter times 2 meter and that's going to be equal to 2.4 meter square. So this is going to be our area. And if you calculate this value, you should get 0 0.04167 degrees Celsius per watts, right? So this is our inside resistance. Now let's go ahead and find our glass resistance. So our glass is going to be equal to so here we have conduction right since we have glass we, we are going to have conduction to find uh, conduction resistance we use this equation L over Ka L is going to be thickness they have given in millimeter if we convert this one into meter that's going to be 0 0.006 meter over thermal conductivity of this glass that is given right here that's 0 0.78 7 eighths watts per meter Kelvin multiply by the area that will be calculated 1.2 meter square and if you find this value you should get 0 0.00321 degrees Celsius per watts right so this is what you what you should get you can write this one watts per meter Kelvin watts per meter degree Celsius both of them are going to be same thing right so here we get this one and now let's go ahead and find the outside resistance to find the outside resistance again this is convection so convection equation 1 over h2a and this is going to be 1 over outside convection is given by 25 watts per meter square kelvin 25 times area is 1 oh here area is 2.4 but the calculation is right 2.4 and then if you calculate this one you should get 
0 0.01667 degrees Celsius per watt. So this is what we have. Now this is in series, right? So since this is in series, the series we can directly add them to find the R total. R total is going to be simply addition of these three. So first we have to get add R I, then R glass, and then we have R outside. And let's go ahead and add them. So first we have to begin with this one. That's going to be 0 0.04167 plus R glass is given by we found out that one that is 0 0.00321 plus R outside that is 0 0.01667 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 0 0.06155 degrees Celsius per watts. So this is our R total. Now we have all the information. So we have found out R total. Now we can go ahead and calculate Q dot. So to find Q dot we just place these values. So this is going to be T infinity 1 that is 24. 24 degrees Celsius minus. Then we have outside temperature that is negative 5 degrees Celsius over our total that is this value. 0 0.06155 degrees Celsius per watts. And if you calculate this one this should give you 471 watts. Now, whenever we have series, the Q dot is going to be equal everywhere. So the Q dot right here is equal to Q dot right here, right, and Q dot right here. This information is necessary because we are going to use this one to find the surface, inner surface temperature, right? Because if I, if I take this interval t infinity one to uh, inner surface. It's the Q dot is still going to be same, right? So it's like current. Like if you know uh, uh, electricity, you know that uh, in series, current is going to be equal everywhere. So Q dot is same as treated same as current. So it's going to be same in series. Now here we have 47 watts. Now we can 471 watts. So we can use this information to find this inner surface temperature. Now let's go ahead and find them but before that let me get rid of this some of these parts. You know I erased this part but we know that we, we, we want to know this inside resistance that we calculated already that is this value right here. So we have that one right here. So we have to use this one because this is the only resistance between this uh, inner surface and this outer convex, I mean inner convection. So let's go ahead and find the inner, I mean the temperature in the inner surface. So to find that one again Q dot is equal to T infinity 1. In this case I am going to use instead of T infinity 2 I am going to use T1 because that is surface temperature over R inside, right? Now, we know that, so we are trying to find T1. Let's rearrange this equation. So Q times, Q dot times R I is equal to T infinity 1 minus T1. Therefore, T1 is going to be equal to T infinity 1 minus Q dot R I, right? So this is going to be our equation. Now T infinity 1 is 24 degrees Celsius. So let's plug them on right here. 24 degrees Celsius. Then Q dot is 471 watts times our inner re resistance that is 0 0.4167. So this is going to be 0 0.4167 and that unit is degrees Celsius per watts. And let's go ahead and calculate this one. And if you calculate this one, this should give you 4.4 degrees Celsius, right? So this is going to be the answer for the second question. So temperature inside is in the in the in the inner surface is 4.4 degrees Celsius, and the heat transfer is 471 watts. And that's how we do this kind of problems. 
I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.